Hi again, Panther fans, and welcome into Inside Georgia State Football. Dave Cohen joined today by Georgia State's redshirt sophomore defensive end, Javante Lane. He's out of Sandy Creek High School, Fayetteville. And uh, many times, if you've watched Inside Georgia State Football, you know we love to talk about Georgia State football. Today, though, we're not going to talk a whole lot of football because Javante Lane is here to talk to us about his other interest. As much as he loves chasing quarterbacks, playing on the defensive side of the football for Georgia State, He's also pretty mean with a pen, a pencil, and a paintbrush. Right. Talk a little bit about uh, where your interest in art started and uh, how it's brought you here to Georgia State as a studio art major. Well, my interest in art started about when I was eight years old. I really got into it because of my older sister, Akilah, and she really she was my mentor. At first, I seen it as a competition, but you know, I, she was really my mentor, and she pushed me to be great to the next level. And it's not just drawing, but it's painting, it's sculpting. Uh, it's really across the board, the interest. Uh, yeah. Along with drawing, though, where did the interest in, say, sculpting come up? I've seen a few, one or two pieces of your work. Uh, well, I didn't want to be limited to just painting and drawing. I wanted to expand past it. So I just wanted to do a little bit of everything. I know you said you started young, influenced by your older sister. But in the art world, who are some artists, artists that... Uh, you would say are influential to you and I know that can be across the board there's a lot of different kinds of artists yeah. uh, but who would you say uh, art wise caught your eye and uh, maybe a little bit of what you see ends up in a little bit of what you do um really Andy Warhol mm -hmm. um, Basquiat a few Picasso paintings I'm really inspired by a lot of street art like I like the mainstream artists, but really street artists are the ones that speak to me the most. Like just the artists you see around in Atlanta, see in different cities. Yeah. That's the ones I really like the most. I know we said we weren't going to talk much football, but uh, football as it relates to art, uh, is there any correlation in your world between the two? Um, basically, I see, as far as pass rushing, I see pass rushing as an art. So it's kind of like when you're pass rushing, there's certain keys that you got to hit. There's certain things you got to do when you're drawing and sculpting. There's just certain guidelines that you have to follow, and I kind of relate those in, a, in that way. Well, let's take a look at some of uh, what Javante has done art-wise that he's willing to show us in, um, in this vast, cozy art studio that he has here in his apartment. Tell me a little bit about this one. Again, not a lot of football in your artwork, but this <laughs> one is. Was this an early piece? Um, this, I actually did this about a year ago. Um, I started off with a blank white canvas, and I just painted it black. And... I took some blue, white, and red paint and just splattered it everywhere. It just went crazy with it. And these, these are actually cutouts. These were originally in black and white, and I kind of just filled it in with color pencil. So this is a combination painting collage yeah. yes, sir. encompassing your high school and now current college career. Yes. Uh, some of those from your, in your Georgia State uniform, others from uh, your time at Sandy Creek. Yeah, these are all the um, Sandy Creek ones are from my senior year. Yep. This, these two, well, really all these are from my freshman year, and this is from last year when I registered And, of course, speed limit 30 is Javante's jersey number, number 30. All right, let's take a look at uh, something else, and I know what you're going to show us from here on out is pretty much non-football related. I thought this initially, when I quickly looked at it and didn't ask who it was, I initially thought it was Jimi Hendrix. Now, this is actually a Basquiat. Um, this is kind of like my interpretation of his work. Because in his work, he used a lot of color, vibrant colors. And I, I didn't want to really copy him or mimic him in a way. I just kind of wanted to do my own thing. So I did a, a silhouette of him and just added color to here and there to it. All right. So that was the artist Basquiat. This one here is pretty cool. What is this? Is this like the Fist of Power? This is really the, the Fist. You can say Fist of Power, but I refer to it as the, the Fist of Fight. It's kind of like that. We as a people, we always in a consistent fight, so, yeah. That might be applicable to uh, hang somewhere in the Georgia State football practice facility. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Interesting. This is one of my favorite superheroes, if you want to say. This is Static Shock. Um, yeah. Were you ever interested in comic books? Because a lot of folks that are interested in comic books are not necessarily into it from the story standpoint as much as they are the art. Yeah, I really got it. I have a twin brother, so me and my brother used to watch, used to read comic books and watch comics on TV all the time. And I was kind of more of a, he, he watched it for the storyline and stuff. I watched it just for the visual. Okay. All right, and you got, what, one more piece? Yeah. So 
one of my favorites here, Samurai Jack. This is an interesting painting right here. Tell me a little bit about this one. You said Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack. It was a um, cartoon featured on Cartoon Network, and I just grew up watching it all the time. So this is one of my favorites. Really cool. All right. Last question. Art and football. Two totally different worlds, but they talk a lot about a life balance. Depending upon whether it's been a good day, a bad day, you, you know you can always come back here and kind of lose yourself in your studio, not necessarily think about football, but kind of lose yourself in uh, being the, the creative process that you have going on here. Yeah, this is, when I come in my studio, it's kind of my escape from everyday life. Just, if I had a bad day of practice, bad day in classroom, I just I would just come here and just put on some music and just get to work, just do some art. All right, Javante, thanks for uh, letting us come into your studio and see some of your work. No problem. All right, I want to thank Georgia State's defensive end. That's Javante Lane showing us and uh, telling us a little bit about uh, what he does off the football field when he's here in his studio uh, on the creative process on that side. And, uh, again, thanks for, uh, thanks for bringing us into this side of your world. Anytime, anytime. All right, again, I want to thank Javante Lane. I'm Dave Cohen. Thanks for watching. This has been Inside Georgia State Football.